Once upon a time I found a garden Picked the brightest flowers that I could see An apron full of Mr. Harding's flowers I didn't know that he was watching me Straight away my mother ran to tell him Wondering what he would say or do Mr. Harding smiled and said, she's just a little child. I thought that she'd be picking them for you. By the fire, my dad would tell me stories. One of them concerned a garden too. Where the lion and the lamb lay down together. And every lovely fruit and flower grew. The gardener sent his children out to play there, rejoicing in the brightness of the day. But when they went exploring and took a fruit to taste, he cursed them both and sent them on their way. Now even then I realized in my childish mind that he wasn't a proper gardener of the Mr. Harding kind. Mr. Harding's garden was all taken by lesser men with concrete in their minds. Factory chimneys grew instead of daisies. No butterflies on that assembly line. My mother faded faster than a flower. Dad sat in the darkness and cried. Now Mr. Harding moves a little slower than before. But still he tends the grave where they both lie. Wherever it is they've gone to, I hope that they will find a proper sort of gardener of the Mr. Harding kind. A foolish woman sometimes feels despairing. She thinks it seems so very hard to find. The child tries to plant a little everywhere she goes. That special love of the Mr. Harding kind. Maybe when I'm older, just maybe I will find that I've grown gardener of the Mr. Harding.